Hello friends, well, it's like Jim Nance used to say when we used to be able to watch sports. Hello friends, uh, this is the, um, the Almost Daily Devotion for Holy Wednesday, Wednesday and Holy Week. It's April the 8th, 2020. And the epistle reading that's assigned in the lectionary for this day is Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. I'm going to read it for you. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. That's Hebrews uh, chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Uh, the, uh, where do we find our help um, when we are tempted to grow weary or to lose heart in the long slog of facing difficulty or, um, or struggle? Because that's a temptation for all of us, isn't it? Well, the author to the letter of the Hebrews uh, tells us the answer is found where we look, where we look. Um, the first and common imperative that you hear is to look deep within yourself uh, when you face um, trouble. You look deep within yourself to find that inner strength. Be strong. For me, that just doesn't fly. It's cold comfort because more often than not, when I look deep within myself, what I find is this bevy of unhelpful emotions um, like fear or like self-preservation or like short-temperedness. Um, or weakness. Now, the second thing that we often hear is to look out into the world and look for signs of um, positivity, good things that are happening. And I admit, I do this every single day. <laughs> if, um, you know, there's some slightly good news in Spain or there's a flattening curve in New York City or the stock market is rebounding, then I'm just, um, the, you know, it makes my step a little bit lighter. And um, however, you know, um, pinning our security or our stability, or even as the scripture says, our joy on the ebb and flow of current information, that's, that's no answer either, is it? So what do we do? Well, of course, uh, looking to Jesus is what the scripture says today. Looking to him. It also says that he's the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. And what does that mean? It means he's the pioneer, he's the starter of their faith, the beginning of our faith. But he's the perfecter, he's the, he's the finisher of our faith, he's the end of our faith. That means that um, he's there at the beginning and he's there at the end. That we don't have to look within ourselves to be strong because he is strong for us. He is strong for us. And we don't have to look out into the world for good news because we know that the good news of the gospel has already been accomplished for us once and for all. So we can take heart uh, that um, he's there and we can fix our eyes on him. That's my prayer anyway for myself and for you today. I'm going to say this other prayer. This is the prayer for the, or the colic for the Wednesday in Holy Week. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of this present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. It's a beautiful day. Um, I hope you can enjoy it today. See you tomorrow.